Hey YouTube. Uh, yesterday after work, I stopped by a, an estate auction. Uh, started at five. I got off work at four. I noticed in the pictures on auction zip they had a flat. Looked like there's some watches, so I stopped by and luckily there wasn't a lot of people there. There's probably five or six people that live in my area that will bid against me on watches. Uh, fortunate for me, none of them were there, so. I was able to pick up a couple flats with the watches and some miscellaneous stuff. End up paying a fourteen fifty. That was the bid plus a buyer's premium. So this is the best stuff out of it, and I, uh, like I said, paid fourteen dollars and fifty cents for this stuff. So I ended up picking up uh, this Timex. It's a sixty-seven Marlin. I guess they call it a dot dash. It would only run for three to five seconds when I first got it. And what I do on Timex, if they're not running very well, I will uh, pop the back off, put a dab of oil on the back by the, the movement, the, the levers, and uh, let it sit for a couple seconds, then wipe it off to just get a little bit of the oil down in the mechanism and more times than not it'll actually function it's probably not the best way for a long-term use because uh, i imagine after a while that oil will build up but these uh, weren't meant to be cleaned and taken apart so that's about as best you can do to get them to run so i did put this on ebay it's not something i would keep I do have Timex, but this isn't the best of condition that for me to keep. It has a crack in the crystal. I did put this on eBay. Uh, it has a $49 bid already, so uh, all the stuff's already paid for. Uh, so I'm, I'm expecting this probably should sell for around $40, maybe $50. And an old uh, Watham. Kind of beat up, but actually is working. So what I do with the uh, these type of watches is I'll save till I get around ten or so, and uh, put them as a lot on eBay and you know ask on ninety nine ninety five, and more times than not they will sell and they'll they go overseas. So if they use them for parts or what, so. And it's just too bad this one isn't working. Uh, it's missing the crown. It's beat up. It, it doesn't doesn't run. This is a Hamilton Thinematic. It's got the six six three movement, a micro rotor, stainless steel. I would have kept this if it was actually working in pretty good condition, but I'll just sell this as parts, and uh, I'll probably get fifty bucks out of it. These are just some filler watches, uh, Timex, Expedition, and a Seiko, or, yeah, Seiko, nothing special, I'll just get a group of those and, you know, 20 or so of this type of stuff and put it on eBay at auction. So, a Zippo, I think this is a 50s, based on the serial number. So Zippos are good to resell. I'll probably get 15, 20 bucks out of that. Another lighter. And some brand new wallets. So not a home run, but a solid pickup for $14.50. Uh, yeah, I think just those two will bring me back a hundred bucks, you know. 120 or so with those three. Uh, so Heading out to some more uh, garage sales this weekend. Looking forward to that. A couple of state sales. So I'll let you guys know if I find anything more. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Have a good one.